好，我是李嫣然。Welcome to Early Learning and Fitness Academy. I'll start with shortly introducing myself. I am currently a master student at Manis School of Music. I am majoring in piano performance, and my professor is Richard Good. I am now offering piano lessons and also Chinese Mandarin language lessons on this academy.、Um, I have been teaching for more than twelve years. Actually, I started teaching in my high school, and I have been teaching both Chinese students and U.S. students. In those twelve years, I have had experience with very young children, with students who have learning disability, adult students as well, and also some、uh, music students who are pursuing professional training. Overall. I believe teaching is not only about students themselves. It's really an interaction between students and the teachers. So, teacher actually are also learning from that process, and I absolutely respect my students' idea in their learning process because you can always discover a lot from their thoughts of the subject that they're learning. In my piano lessons. I teach all kinds of music. You name it: classical, jazz, popular music, or even improvised. Because I really think that there's no boundary in music learning, as long as the music interests you. That's the most important. And we can develop our technique, our musical aesthetic, with all kinds of music. In my language lesson, I think. It is actually, in a way, related to music learning as well. So sometimes, with certain types of students, I would incorporate music with the language itself. For example, you could certainly easily learn the tune and the pronunciation of the character from learning a Chinese song. And my students have been enjoying doing that a lot. I was initially. Only teaching piano lessons until one day I started helping my friends with their Chinese language studying, and I realize how much they find it helpful. Then I started teaching Chinese. Since then, I have helped my students and my friends with conducting simple daily conversations and helping them with developing quite a well ability with narrative. And、uh, of course, we all know that Chinese character is such complicated. So I have been helping them with writing, with doing very nice calligraphy. And of course, the language itself is not only about language; it's also part of the culture. So while giving Chinese language lessons, I also care very much about talking about maybe poetry, talking about the history. You know all the interesting parts of this language itself. Sometimes, if my students are interested in taking the music lesson and the language lesson together, it would be so much fun to compose based on certain Chinese poetry. So they are actually experiencing improvising. They are experiencing composing. They are getting their music theory language. I mean, music theory knowledge, as well as Chinese language itself. So that's a very fun part to discover if you are choosing to take lessons with me. I have also organized for my students in the past some small concerts, and I believe through this early learning and fitness academy platform, we can have something even fun. For example, we can have a big performance with piano solo performing with. Singing in both language, in English and Chinese, and also some reciting of Chinese poetry. That would be a fabulous performance to look forward. All right, I am very looking forward to see you in the future, and I hope you enjoy watching this video. And if you are watching this during this very special time, I hope this video finds you and your family are staying safe and well. Bye bye. This is Yan Ran Li. Thank you.